I think most people agree that this year has been ultimately more tame than what we went through last year, at least so far. But that doesn't take away any loss or potential hardships that this year's brought to the table. Because of that, I wanted to talk about the difference between letting go and giving up. I feel like many people, myself included, subconsciously mold the two choices as one and the same, not being able to properly decipher when a tough decision is necessary for their benefit and when it's the product of a failed half-assed commitment. Let me give you some context. I've done my fair share of both giving up and moving on in recent years, and it wasn't until recently that I was able to understand the difference between those choices. I've dropped multiple projects I was working on, I've left jobs and job opportunities, I've left behind some close friendships and relationships. Hell, I've been left behind from intimate partners and companions. And from every individual situation, I always group them into a single one-dimensional mindset. That I gave up. I didn't give them enough of a chance. I could have done better. I know not all people are the same, but it's definitely a common mentality, especially in younger people today, for a person to be overly negative in their self-view. You've always got to be the problem. There's no other factor to consider. You, you just have to be better. You're not good enough. Whether that comes from bullying, childhood trauma, mental illness, etc. Some people often go far too hard on themselves and as a result, they're never able to properly evaluate when they're genuinely in the wrong versus factors outside of their control. I'm not saying to adopt a mentality that's on the other side of the spectrum, that being never taking accountability when you do leave or hurt others and blaming everyone else for your problems. You just have to be realistic with your situation and circumstances. You gotta be real with yourself. Recently, I've let go of two extremely close friendships. Completely unrelated situations, but similar nonetheless. The first friend I cut completely out of my life, no contact, no open doors, nothing. My other close friend? Well, I wouldn't say we're on bad terms or anything, but we definitely drifted from each other. I was really attached to that second friend. I put as much effort as I possibly could, and then some to stay in contact, check up on them, stay updated. Anything I could do to keep them a part of my life. But as more and more time went by, they weren't as responsive as they used to be. They became more busy, called less, texted back at later times, if they even texted back at all. And at first I tried telling myself that they really were just that busy. It, it was just temporary and things would go back to the way they were, everything would go back to normal. But after seeing some posts, some active feeds, and um, hearing about them from others, I came to a clear conclusion that I just wasn't as close of a friend to them anymore as I thought they were to me. And I don't want this to sound like I'm trying to paint this particular person in a negative light. I harbor no resentment nor hate against them, I still care about them deeply. I don't believe they were a bad friend neither, so just to make this perfectly clear, this isn't a hate letter. We just... we live very different lives from each other. Well that's the most definitive answer I could give myself because I still don't fully understand what happened between us and they probably don't either. That's just how life is sometimes, you know? After giving it some considerable thought, I came to the conclusion that it was best to stop texting them and I was to let go for the time being. Initially, I felt the same way I felt about all my past experiences. I believed I gave up. That I should have done better or somehow been a better person to stay close friends with them. But instead of just leaving it at that and moving on, I kept thinking. I started to reevaluate the situation and replay some things in my head to consider all the factors that were involved. I'd ask myself questions like, how many times were you the first person to text or spark up conversation? How much energy did you give out and how much did you end up receiving? Was there any potential left in the friendship or was it all spent? It was from questions like these that I understood I didn't give up, but I moved on and it was the best decision for both of us to benefit in the end. Is there still potential in this friendship, or relationship, or project, or whatever noun-related word you decide to fill your mad lib with? Potential involves a future. If you can't see that future with whoever or whatever you're struggling with, it's best to be able to let go. That way, you'll be able to put your effort towards something better worth your time. When it came to my second friend, I wasn't able to see that future. Yeah, there used to be potential, honestly there was quite a bit, but things changed, and once I was able to accept that, I was able to let go. 
As a result, we both benefit from having more time and energy to focus on more important things. I then went back to thinking about my first friend, asking myself the same questions to evaluate whether or not it was the right choice to cut them out of my life. Whether or not I gave up on something special, or let go of something wasteful. Personally, yeah, I feel I made the best decision. Again, I saved myself from unnecessary hardship and pain, which gave me more time and energy to dedicate my efforts to people who are worth it to me. After coming to these conclusions, I started to backtrack, think of all of my previous experiences on an individual level with a fresh lens on. The girls I broke up with, the friends I left, the projects I never finished. And from that, I was able to more properly come to a realistic verdict for each individual situation. Sometimes, there still was potential in a project or relationship, and I either wasn't committed enough or too lazy to continue. Those were situations where I really could have and should have done better. With that though, there's plenty of situations where there was no potential left. I made the best decision I could by letting go. I want to make sure that I'm making this clear. I'm not just saying letting go is okay, you know, it's, it's a choice. No, I believe that it's integral to your personal growth as well as the growth of others. If you're in a situation where letting go is the right course of action, Refusing to do so will only work against you and whoever might be involved. You're going to waste your time, you're going to waste your energy, and the potential that could have been spent on something better is gone. You have to be able to let go sometimes, even when it's painfully difficult to do so. You're going to have to say goodbye to loved ones and possible dream jobs because it's not always worth the lack of a benefit you'll receive. In turn, you also have to be able to stick to your commitments, even if you don't feel motivated to do so. It's by considerate and well-thought decision-making that you can do the right thing and also feel that in your heart. Strive your best to never give up on potential, but also to be able to move on when need be. Alright, I've repeated myself enough. Be sure to have a great rest of your day. Maybe catch some Z's at a decent hour, who knows? Eh, you do you. And as always, stay hydrated.